ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഓൺ ഇ സി ജി ഇൻ ലെഫ്റ്റ് മെയിൻ കൊറോണറി ആർട്ടറി സ്റ്റിനോസിസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് എസ് ടി ലിവേഷൻ ഇൻ എ വി ആർ ഇസ് ഹൈലൈറ്റഡ് ഇ സി ജി ഇൻ എ പേഴ്സൺ വിത്ത് പേഴ്സിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ചൈനൽ പെയിൻ ഫോർ ദി പാസ്റ്റ് സെവറൽ അവേഴ്സ് ഷോയിങ് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് എസ് ടി സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് ഡിപ്രഷൻ ഇൻ ആൻഡ്രോ ലാറ്റർ ലീഡ്സ് അലോങ് വിത്ത് സൈനസ് ടാക്കിക്കാഡിയ എസ് ടി സെഗ്മെൻറ്റ് എലിവേഷൻ ഇസ് നോട്ടഡ് ഇൻ എ വി ആർ സച്ച് എ പാറ്റേൺ ഇസ് കൺസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് വിത്ത് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് മെയിൻ കൊറോണറി ആർട്ടറി സ്റ്റിനോസിസ് Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Clinical evaluation and chest x-ray showed features of pulmonary edema. Angiography done after initial stabilization showed severe stenosis of distal left main coronary artery. In addition, there were multiple lesions in all three vessels making a standard indication for an urgent coronary artery bypass grafting a similar ecg pattern can also occur in severe proximal triple vessel disease the previous ecg is shown here for comparison which shows minimal changes there is minimal st segment elevation in avr as well this highlights the need for serial ecgs in acute coronary syndrome as initial ecgs may be near normal even in those with severe disease Classical electrocardiographic pattern in left main coronary artery disease is ST elevation in AVR with extensive ST depression in other leads most prominent in lead 1 2 and V4 to V6 ST elevation may be noted in V1 but ST elevation in AVR is more than or equal to that in V1 ST elevation in AVR greater than or equal to that in V1 distinguished left main stenosis from left anterior descending coronary artery stenosis with 81% sensitivity and 80% specificity st segment elevation in avr in proximal left anterior descending artery occlusion before first septal is thought to be due to transmural ischemia of the basal part of the septum injury current of basal part of septum is directed towards right shoulder and avr ST elevation in AVR noted in left main disease is also likely due to the same mechanism as flow to first septal is blocked in this case as well mortality was more frequently observed in left main obstruction patients with higher degree of ST elevation in AVR another ECG showing ST elevation in AVR and diffuse ST segment depression in inferior and lateral leads suggesting left main coronary artery stenosis ST elevation in AVR more than that in V1 is also suggestive of left main disease. In a study comparing acute obstruction of left main, left anterior descending and right coronary occlusions, AVR ST elevation of more than 0.05 mV was noted in 88% of left main obstruction, 43% of LAD obstruction and 8% of RCA obstruction. One limitation of the study was lack of comparison with left circumflex obstruction. In addition to ST elevation in AVR, this ECG also shows Q in V1 followed by a tall slurred R called QRBBB indicative of anterior wall infarction with right bundle branch block. The initial R of the RSR pattern expected in right bundle branch block is knocked off by the infarction. multiple supraventricular ectopics are also seen in the ecg in a case reported by shinde and associates coronary angiography documented total occlusion of left coronary artery and the patient underwent emergency coronary bypass surgery in that case there was st depression in 1 avl 2 avf and v2 to v6 st elevation was 2 mm in avr and 1 mm in v1 This patient had reported with recent angina. Usually patients with LMC occlusion deteriorate hemodynamically and electrically very rapidly. They can present with anterior wall infarction. On other extreme left main total occlusion with normal ECG and left ventricular function has also been reported. In that patient collaterals from right coronary artery supplied both left anterior descending and left circumflex territories. Significant left coronary artery narrowing of more than 50% luminal narrowing is noted in about 5% of patients undergoing coronary angiography. 
but total occlusion being documented on coronary angiography is extremely rare as many of them do not survive. One series documented only 6 patients in around 12,000 cases. Here are the first set of references on ECG in left main disease. Second set of references on ECG in LMCA disease. Third set of references on ECG in left main coronary stenosis. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.